how did I come up with the love train experience? I guess you can say. Uh, to be to be very honest, I was in a I went through a very bad heartbreak, like a really really bad one. I was with somebody for six years. We were engaged. It was like a whole thing. And once I got out of it, and I started to self heal because I feel like a lot of people don't heal before they get into. Um, their next situation after I was healed and happy with who I am, happy with being by myself and happy with those important things that a lot of people don't actually do, I started to record it because it was like, bro, like it took me, it took a lot for me to get through this. But I know other people go through the same thing. I have to make music about it. I have to make music about the sticky in-between parts that nobody wants to talk about. I feel like R&B is the place for, or just music in general is a place to talk about those things like, oh, well, I, I love you, but I don't want to be with you no more. Like, or, or I'm realizing that I still love you and I still might want to be with you. Or I realize I put so much love into you and not enough into myself. And those are things that we don't talk about. And that's why people don't heal. And that's why a lot of us are broken. And so with Love Train, I wanted to make something that could help somebody go from the fuck you phase <laughs> that can go from the fuck you phase to the I'm optimistic about love again phase. I feel like like when you get your heart broken, you don't want to be in love. You don't want to take nobody seriously. It's like fuck love. I don't want to do this shit. That's just stupid. Like you know, like especially if you're like been in something serious for a long amount of time, you're just like Ugh, I'm I'm through with it. But we everything is about love. In in all honesty, everything in this entire world is about love and positive energy. So why not create something that can help someone go through the dark moments into a lighter one? So that, again, like using the positive energy that I have and putting into my music to talk about the dirty stuff that we don't want to talk about or talk about that pain. Because in all actuality, no matter what your orientation is, we all hurt the same. When you get cheated on, your heart's broken, you just like, Ugh, am I not good enough? You know, everybody goes through those same feelings and why not, why not write about it? Why not sing about it? So from Love Train, cause there's Love Train, the EP, and then there's Love Train to the album I just released. Um, I have a song called Truth on both. One is Truth and the other one is Truth Volume 2. So in Truth on Love Train, I came to the realization while creating this music that I was still in love with my ex. And I was wondering who she was with, if she was with somebody else. Like I was wondering all these things like, dang, like, how can I get back to you? Like, we're so far removed. We're, we went through a horrible breakup. It was so bad. How can we get back to the place we started at, kind of? And I was in the studio, and after I recorded it, I was listening back to it, and I literally cried, because I was like, oh, crap. Like, I, it was like I listened to it from a standpoint of it not being me, the artist, and it just be me being a, a person listening to music, like, oh my God, I felt that on a really deep level. Like when I recorded it, I was just like, oh, let me just, I, I actually freestyled that one. I freestyled it um, and it just it just flew out. Like the most most things when I'm, when I'm writing music, they just kind of fly out within like a good 20 minutes. Like I'll do the whole song. So it just flew out and then I, after I finished and I put all the harmonies and stuff, I went back and listened and I was like, oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what were you going through, girl? Like, Jesus. Like, it, it, it affected me. And I'm like, if it affected me like this, I know it's going to affect other people. And then you fast forward to um, Love Train 2. I actually recorded my entire album in my house. Just me intimately getting into my own thoughts and just really figuring out where I wanted the train to go. And, you know, of course, thinking about my life experiences as they were happening and, impl you know, imp implementing them into the project. So when it came to Love Train, I mean, Truth Volume 2, I was like over it. I had given the second chance that I, you know, I by the end of Love Train, you understand that I gave this person a second chance. I let them take the lead. And that's where we left it off. So we pick up on Love Train 2 is me being sick of it because I gave you a second chance and you still fucked it up. So what, like, bye, Ashy. I don't want to talk about this anymore. And so Truth Volume 2 is me really coming to the realization is like, oh, yeah, I can't be your girl no more. Like, I literally can't do it. And when I wrote it in this, like, at home, it was, I was physically actually going through the exact moment. Like, nah, I can't, I really can't do this. It's like, I made my own therapy to get out of, a, get out of my real life if that makes sense. Man, if, if I didn't have a creative outlet, music, just anything to pour my creativity into, 
I'm pretty sure I would be somewhere just if if I'm here. Like honestly, like I don't I don't I don't see myself being able to be here without music or some some somewhere to pour these creative thoughts into. You know, some people do therapy, some people go to the gym to like get out of their stuff. Music is it for me. Music is that for me. <laughs>